How's it going guys? It's the Pixelated Pumpkin, and in today's video we'll be taking a look at some brand new animatronics released by HalloweenCostumes.com. Now HalloweenCostumes.com seems to be new to the animatronic industry. I have guess they've been around for a while just making obviously Halloween costumes, but this year they actually made some new never before seen animatronics. In today's video I wanted to take a look at them since they are actually pretty cool and I do like one of them and specifically a lot, but I just want to be t I just want to take a look at them today. So in my theory is is I'm not sure exactly what company makes these, but I'm pretty sure it is either Party Gears or Fun World. So I'm pretty sure Fun World has made animatronics before Fun World did make the original Scream mask or Ghost Face mask. It was called like Weeping Ghost or something like that when they made it and then Wes Craven said, wow, this thing is awesome. And he really wanted to use it in the movie. So just some brief history there for Scream and the company of Fun World. But um, I'm not sure which one of those it is. I'm kind of leaning towards it being Party Gears since they have some old, like, not really old, but some of the more modern Morbid Enterprises, as we'll see, they've remade one of the modern ones since they are the manufacturer for newer Morbid, at least. But in today's video, with all that, we'll just be taking a look at them today. So I guess we'll start with my favorite being Funzo the Clown. So without any more hesitation, let's take a look at him. So this is Funzo the Clown, and I have to say, I honestly really love him. You're probably thinking to yourself, really? You like this guy? And truthfully, I think he's awesome. Now, if you know me, I really do hate goofy clowns, and you're probably thinking to yourself, well, isn't this guy kind of goofy? And to be honest, I don't feel that at all with this one. I think this one is honestly really creepy. So I'll break him down. I think the audio is definitely the biggest helping factor here. I think the background music sounds amazing and very off-putting and creepy. And also his voice is big, booming, and very intimidating. Also, just his overall design is very creepy too. His face looks really good. And I just think his clothes are very nice. I do love the colors on the clothes. There's a lot going on with the stripes and the yellow and purple colors. It just contrasts with each other very nicely, in my opinion. And he has some more details, like his little shoulder thingies. And also, obviously, some cloth just hanging off which i love i honestly love the suit too the suit as i'm talking about right now i think that looks great and the pom-poms of course and also his shoes take a look at his shoes aren't those things awesome they have literal teeth on them which is honestly so cool svi would never do something like that so whoever made this guy props to you since i think this looks absolutely incredible the details with the shoes are honestly one of my favorite parts of this guy also his orange hair is very nice too we hardly see any clowns with orange hair unless it's pennywise so i'm very happy to see another clown with orange hair which i think this guy it looks awesome on him and his animation too, I think it's really nice and solid. He obviously tilts from side to side as that mouth animation. I just think it all comes together to make one awesome prop. I really do love Funzo the Clown. I think he is around like $250, so I won't be getting him. But I do think he is the fair price. Maybe he could have been sold for $200. But overall, I honestly really do love Funzo the Clown. And I'm excited to see people start getting him. <laughs> So this is the 8 foot giant pumpkin scarecrow and I have to say he's pretty cool. He's definitely not as good as Funzo the Clown and you know what I'm just going to break him down for you guys. So overall I think he's meh. I think there could be a lot of improvements here if I'm being honest but I still think he's cool for like a pumpkin head scarecrow prop. The main problem I have here is his midsection where his basically his torso attaches to his pelvis. You could literally see the animatronic parts in there. There definitely should have been some cloth or some sort of material to cover that up so you wouldn't have to see that since it, it, it just kind of loses the whole, it just loses the whole illusion of this thing being alive, which is unfortunate. And I just don't know. I think he's very kind of cheap looking as well. Like just his whole body besides his head and, and his chest just really looks fake. I'm not... I'm not a massive fan of how the scrawny his arms and legs look. They just don't look very good in my opinion. And everything else is just meh. The light in the head is very cool though. I'm happy it, the whole jack-o'-lantern head glows. That's really nice. 
and his phrases are unfortunately very generic and do not fit this prop at all. They definitely fit more like a Reaper than this guy, which is definitely unfortunate in my opinion. So I have to say, out of all the stuff we're going to be looking at today in this video, this one's my least favorite. I don't hate him though, don't get me wrong, I think he's alright, but just not a very big fan and I think there could have been some major improvements. You have dreamt of this meeting many times. I am the guardian of the field of lost souls. Prepare to leave this earth. Let us begin your next journey. So this guy here is the 8 foot scythe reaper. Even though he has a pretty generic name, I still think he is awesome and definitely my second favorite right next to Funzo. Now this guy is honestly really incredible in my, in my opinion and just an awesome reaper prop in general and probably one of my favorite reaper props of the year if I'm not even joking right now. I th honestly think he's better than Inferno Reaper which is probably very controversial and there's going to be a ton of people who are going to hate me for saying that but I still love Inferno Reaper but I honestly like this guy better. He just reminds me more of Halloween. He gives me more Halloween vibes than Inferno Reaper does and just overall I think this guy looks incredible. So I'll just break him down again as I've been doing. So first of all he's eight feet tall which is awesome just a very tall prop here and i honestly honestly in my opinion the bigger the prop is the better so very happy with him being eight feet tall his animation is also awesome a very unexpected thing was his lunging motion which honestly took me way off guard when i first saw the video since hardly any props that are this tall have any sort of motion like that which i think is crazy and honestly very very cool also, his phrases are alright. I'm not sure if those are his actual phrases, since if you notice, the phrases just do not sync up with the video at all. So maybe they accidentally messed up something there. So these could not be his real phrases, but I'm just going to go ahead and say that they are for the sake of the video. Honestly, I think that it's really cool. The voice is honestly very... Um, kind of a little bit cheesy sounding, but I honestly like the sound of the voice. And I'm pretty sure his whole head lights up too, which is another really awesome part. Also, for the skull itself, I think it looks incredible. His face, I just love the design of that skull. I think it honestly looks really awesome. And just overall, I think he is a really incredible prop, and I honestly love him. Go or try to stop. But where's the fun in that, huh? Hunters must hunt. Indeed, it is my calling in this life and beyond. Last but not least, we have a remake, or basically just a new version, of The Ghastly Gentleman made by Morbid Enterprises, and this is what leads me to believe that Party Gears made these, since Party Gears did make the original for Morbid Enterprises, but I'm still not 100% sure on that. But nonetheless, uh, this was one of my favorite modern Morbid props, I honestly think it always looked really good in my opinion, so I'm happy to see him back in this new version, which honestly looks a lot better in my opinion, and he definitely looks a lot more high quality. So, as always, I'll break him down. I'll start off with his overall look. I just always love the way this one looks so much. I think the face mold is awesome. Like how the eyes look with the like the lights and like kind of like the way the mold works. It makes them it makes I I really can't describe it, but the way it looks it's just really amazing with the lights in the eyes. Also, something new, instead of him holding a staff, he now holds a cane and a knife, which looks really cool. I think the knife could have been a little bit bigger, maybe, and maybe a little bit better sculpted, but other than that, I think it looks awesome, and just so much new details here. I think his suit also looks great. I love how it, it looks dirty with the different colors there. It just really looks good. Also, just pretty much everything about him looks really good, to be honest. I've always loved this guy, and I'm really happy to see him in a new way. And pretty much he's been brought back, but so much better. I really hope his quality does hold up now. Like, this is a actual good quality version. Since, obviously, the old one from Morbid is just absolute awful quality. But I don't know. Nonetheless, I still think this guy is really great. And I'm just really happy to see him back. I think his phrases are alright. I'm pretty sure they have been changed. I think the voice is fine. And just everything about him is really cool. And with that, that's pretty much it, and I really do love this guy. So we'll quickly recap, and then we'll finish off the video. 
All right, everyone. Well, that's it. But I just want to quickly recap here. Honestly, it's really cool to see some other companies just making more animatronics. Now, the Halloween animatronic industry is only growing, which is great since basically that's what's making the basically the more companies there are, the more fuel I have for my YouTube channel, the more videos I can make. And honestly, I really enjoy talking about these unique and interesting animatronics today. I'm really excited to see if they make more next year. And I'm honestly still curious what company this is made by. So be sure if you do know what company this is made by let me know in the comments below since i'm honestly at a loss right now some people have been saying fun world some people have been saying party gears i'm definitely leaning towards more party gears but again i could be wrong so please let me know in the comments and with all that thank you for watching and let's head to the outro all right everybody that's it for today's video thank you so much for watching till the end be sure to like and subscribe as always and let me know which one of these was your favorite in the comments below again definitely mine is funzo the clown i honestly really do love that clown prop and let me know which one's yours favorite as as well i think all of them were actually pretty cool so that's why i wanted to talk about them and with that everybody as always this is the pixelate pumpkin signing out mm -hmm.